Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to turn any kind of gray or black object into another color. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so as you can see here we have some layers here that we need to adjust that. I will delete all of this and we will start fresh. So we have this picture, we have a gray shirt here and we want to recolor it. The first thing we need is a mask. So let's go to our selection brush and make a quick selection here and you want to repaint that by hand in most cases because the selection is not going to be super precise but we are not going to worry about that at the start because we can always do that later on so there is no need to be super precise at the start i would rather suggest to see if the picture works for you with the recolor by applying the effect first then refining the mask okay so let's click here on refine so just we get a little bit of a better result here and then we can already start to change the color. Okay, let's let's leave it like that. Click apply. Good. Click down here on the mask layer. So this creates a mask like that. You, so you can see, okay, this is now mostly the shirt. To get rid of these end lines on your keyboard, press Ctrl D to deselect and now what we want to do is to create a rectangle over here on the left side, rectangle. Click on that, drag it out over all of that area that you have selected. Give it a first color change and then on your keyboard, press Ctrl and G to create a group from that. And now next step is to click and drag the mask onto the group like this. So now the rectangle is in the mask and you can see this is just on the shirt. Okay, the next step is to set our rectangle to soft light like this. And this already does most of the job, but it's not good enough yet. So we have to do some extra steps here. So one of the steps I want to suggest to you is that you create an adjustment for curves here. And in the curves adjustment, you will see down here it says picker. So click on that and then click on a brighter area in your fabric or object. Click and push it up so you can see this gets a little bit brighter. And then search for a darker area, not maybe complete, complete shadow, but on the surface. If there is a darker area on your surface, it might be a flat surface. And then drag that down and you see we get a little bit of contrast exactly where we need that. Not too much, like be gentle on that. Okay, so that is already pretty nice. And another thing that helps you to adjust the colors to look realistic is that you create an adjustment for vibrance. And vibrance gives you the possibility to change either just the vibrance or the saturation completely. And the difference between vibrance and saturation is that vibrance adjust the saturation where it's needed but not in other parts while saturation does it in the same way over everything that is selected. Okay, so we want to pull this a little bit down because in real life colors often are not that extreme. So you can see if I go like this that's way too much but if I go like this that starts to look pretty good and realistic. And of course with our rectangle you can always go up here to the fill color up on the left and now I would suggest to go to the HSL color wheel because there you have an easier way to find colors and then also to make them darker, to make them more pastel or faded. So there's a lot of adjustment that you can reach in a very easy way. So you can see we can do a lot of interesting, good looking adjustments here, give this any kind of look that we want to and then at any point you can go back into the curves into the vibrance that you might have to readjust based on the color because different colors give you different kind of contrast have a different kind of vibrance to them so this is basically you would go on that by feel okay so that looks pretty good let's have a look at the complete picture that is already very nice. The only thing that stands out now is that the mask is not very nice. So I will speed up the video and you can watch me do this 
with my brush. So over here, you select the brush and then you set it up to black and white as colors for the mask. And you can, of course, then play around with the size and the hardness to see what gives you the best results. Select your mask layer, zoom into your picture and start the painting process so you get good results. So you can see I've cleaned up the mask. It looks pretty awesome. And now I can give this gray shirt any kind of color that I want and it's going to look realistic. So this is really a nice secret sauce trick. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. And if you like my videos, maybe subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified of my new videos. See you. Bye.